and good morning. We're ready to start section 16.3. We're going to be doing square unit conversions. Now remember doing conversions. Uh, I think last week we did those, last chapter. So if you'll look at three, page 322, look right in the middle of that. Okay, so there's a big giant square, measures one foot or 12 inches on each side. So it equals one, so one square foot is 144 square inches. Okay, one square foot is 144 square inches. Keep that in mind because it's, it's, it's 12 inches. So it's 12 times 12. So basically that's just a conversion. Now, look at the example. Convert five square feet to square inches. I want you to look at the conversion via the ratio shortcut, the one in the middle, that's the one we're using. So you're gonna put five square feet times, now we know the conversion rate between square feet and square inches. 144 square inches is the same as one square feet foot, okay? And then when you do the cancellation, you end up getting 720 square inches, okay? Now, in every one of those, we didn't look at each one of those, but in those, they use the conversion ratio between square feet and square inches. But what if you didn't know that ratio? Uh, what if all we knew was that 12 inches equals one foot? Well, rather than memorizing all of that, looking it up, or finding a whole new set of conversion ratios for square units, let's look at a way to convert square units using the same conversion ratios that we've used in the past. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to go skip 323 all the way down to the first example where it says convert one square foot to square inches. Now we know that one square foot is one foot times one foot. Remember that? Okay, so we're going to convert that to square inches. So they wrote one foot times one, or one foot, one foot times foot because there's two, two feet, two square feet, okay? equals the conversion ratio of 12 inches to one foot times 12 inches to one foot, which when you do the cancellation, you get 144 square inches. Do you see the shortcut? You can convert between different square units by simply multiplying the appropriate regular conversion ratio twice, okay? We didn't have to write out foot times foot. We just needed to remember foot square means foot times foot, okay? Which means we have to multiply by the conversion ratio two times in order to cancel it out. So here it is shortened down. We're near the bottom of 323, above, right above the second example at the bottom. So one square foot times 12 inches over one foot times 12 inches over one foot. And then you do all the cancellation and it equals 144 square inches. All right, let's look at the second example. Convert 121 square feet to yards, okay? So 121 square feet times, the conversion ratio is one yard to three feet. We have to write that twice because it has cancel out because it's square feet. And then you do all the cancellation, you get 13.4 square yards. All right, let's look at your worksheet, 16.3. Uh, I think you can use your calculator on almost everything except five and six on the back. All right, so. We're gonna convert these following units. All right, so uh, 24 uh, square feet into square inches. All right, so how we're gonna do that is, okay, so we're gonna take 24 square feet All right, into times the ratio, because remember we want uh, inches, right? All right, so we have to write the ratio inches to feet uh, with inches on the top. So 12 inches is the same as one foot, okay? Remember we're gonna do it twice because this is square feet, all right? So 12 inches over one foot, okay? Then we're going to do our cancellation. This, this, and this cancels out. All right, so then we're left with 24 
times 12 times 12. So you're going to get your calculations. I'm going to give you the answer. If you use your calculator, it's going to be 3,456 square inches. Okay, because we're left with 2 inches. So we have to square it. Okay, so that would be your final answer there. All right, so I'm thinking that probably you can do the rest of these. You have to use your calculators. These are great big numbers, okay? Now, go ahead and pause it while you go ahead and do B, C, and D, okay? And then we'll move on to section two. Okay, so I just want to make sure that you get you got these right. So on 1B, your answer should have been this number right here. Okay. If you didn't get this number, you need to write that down and go back and figure out why you didn't get it. All right. For C, your answer would have been if you didn't get this, write that down and go back and figure out why you didn't. If you can't figure it out, let me know. And then for D, you should have gotten this. Okay, again, if you got this wrong, write it down and then go back and see how they got that and see where you messed up, okay? All right, let's move on to uh, the next section. Uh, exploring the Great Pyramid. All right, so the base of the Great Pyramid is approximately a square with sides measuring about 230 meters. Use this information to find the following. Round all your answers to the nearest whole number. Okay, so the perimeter of the base of the Great Pyramid in meters. All right, so it's measured in meters because it says it's 230 meters. So um, what you're going to do is the base of it is a square and each side is 230 meters. So to find the perimeter of a square, remember it's just going to be side plus side plus side plus side. So well, I'm not going to write it all out, but you would just, or basically you could just do 230 times 4, which equals 920 meters. Now, it is not squared. Perimeter is never squared. Perimeter is just measuring this and this, or however many sides you have, okay? So you never square perimeter. You only square area, all right? Now, B wants us to do the perimeter of the base of the Great Pyramid in yards. So on B, C, and D, you're going to have to convert, um, well, I'm sorry, on B, because C and D are area, but on B, you're going to have to convert this to yards, okay? Meters to yards. Now that, um, you're going to have to look back in your book. I don't remember. Somewhere back last week, I think it was, you had a the conversions between this and that. You'll have to go back because meters is um, uh, metric. And so it's wanting you to convert it to customary. So you're gonna have to go back and find that list. Let me look in my book and see uh, if I can find that. I think it was in section 15 uh, where it had the conversions. And it could even be in the very back of your book. I'm not real sure. No, maybe it was in section 14, perhaps. Yeah, section 14 uh, on page 292 in your book. 
at the bottom of 292 is that conversion, the, the, the conversions between the customary and metric. Those are the ratios that you're going to be using on those, okay? So now on, on letter C and D, you're not doing perimeter, you're doing area. So make sure you use square footage, okay? All right, so on the back, I'm going to have you just, there is a challenge problem. So um, I'm going to have you do that. I'm going to have you do all of this yourself. I'm not going to grade it, but I just kind of want to see how far you are. We're right in the middle of the chapter, so I want, want you to do it yourself to kind of see where you are rather than me helping you on it, okay? Let me know if you get stuck, and I'll be happy to help, okay? That's all for today. Yeah!